led by Alex Crouch, the freshman, scoring 14. Grace McCallop makes both. Catherine Goodwin pushing it down the court. She drives, kicks it out to Jeremiah McPherson, who takes the three. Unlucky. Rebounded by Kelsey Shank, who puts it back up and in. Kelsey Shank. Great put back there by Shank. Doing what she does best for the Saints offense. Stags driving, and they answer right back. Number five, Mary Grant. Now Catherine Goodwin pushing it. She'll drive, take it herself, and she is fouled. Two for Catherine Goodwin. This is kind of the flow you're going to see for the entire game night here. Both teams pushing a very fast offense, just trying to catch each other on the counterattack. That's exactly right, Ethan. Now Cat is not so successful from the line against Ruba Northwest. Makes her first. Tonight here at Aquinas is our alumni night. We do have some special alumni in the house tonight. The women's basketball alumni in attendance have a combined collection of over 13 state championship titles, 11 runner-up titles, Gator Player of the Year, and numerous first and second team All-EKL players. We will be recognizing the alumni throughout the game tonight. Uh, welcome home, Saints, for all who are here and those who are watching from home. It's great to have so many alumni here tonight. Now number 21, Lexi Kurt. That's it. Five, five. Mary Grant makes the three. That's a great shot there by Grant. Uncontested. Looks like she will be continuing to make those all night. The ball is stolen by number 23, Grace McCallum. She'll bring it down the court. She passes it to Mary Grant, who drives on working on Alex Krause. Over to number 21, Lexi Kurt. Back to McCallop, who takes the three, just off. But yeah, out of bounds, Saints ball. Yeah, interesting play there. Did that not hit the top of the, the goal? Yeah, I expected a stoppage there by the referee. But, I mean, but result stays the same, I suppose. Agreed. Now, Captain Goodwin bringing it, bring it up the court. So pass inside to Kelsey Shank, will take two strong dribbles up and just barely doesn't miss, but gets her own rebound, misses again, and rebounded by number four, Jojo Gibson. Finishes like that are going to be crucial in a game like this tonight. There's not a lot of room for error, especially as the season goes on. A jump ball there, forced by Catherine Goodwin, as Lexi Kurt was going up for the layup. Catherine Goodwin, a player who does it all on the court, leads the team in assists, and also plays some very scrappy defense. Man, I can agree. I've been watching her all season, you know, as, as the season's gone on. She's been a crucial part of the state's offense and defense as well. Uh, just the captain showing why she is the captain. As she passes inside to Kelsey Shank, who finishes it strong. Two beautiful finishes from Kelsey Shank today. Now for the Stags, number 23, Grace McCallop. Good pick He's there by Watts. Stolen by Sydney Watts. Oh. And Jemai McPherson trying to show off some of that passing skill. Should have just taken the open layup. It results in a turnover. Just a little miscommunication there. Miscommunication between Jemai McPherson and Alex Krause, the freshman, who in her own right had 14 the last game against Northwest. Seems we've lost visual <laughs> up here. There we go. And we're back. While you were not able to see the game, Captain Goodwin picked up her first foul. Jags pass it in to Grace McCallop. Working on Kelsey Shank. She'll drive, pass it back to Lexi Kurt, who passes it to the corner. There's number 22, Kristen Bellhurst, missing the three. Stags rebound. Number four, Jojo Gibson, air balls. Rebound, Sydney Watts, who passes it There's down Krause. to Alex Krause, hey. who's tripped. Saints ball. Unlucky there by Kraus. It's tough. She got beat up last game. Took many hard falls, but still managed to drop 14. 
got her rhythm back. Number 20, Faith McCollum, checks in for the Stags. As Catherine Goodwin passes it in for the Saints. Into Kelsey Shank. Back to Catherine Goodwin, who drives. Passes it back to Alex Krause. Krause. For three. But she's just off. Rebound, Grace McCallop, who passes it down to Mary Grant, who passes it out back to Faith McCallop. It's a great recovery there by the Saints. The, de the defense of the Saints has been crucial for their wins in the past, especially against Northwest, who is a good scoring team. Number 22, Kristen Velhurst with a beautiful mid-range jumper, just a step inside the three-point line. Now the Saints trying to answer Catherine Goodwin, working on number 23, Faith Vel Oh, Alex Krause, Krause for three, and she's three. getting it. She will get it to go. I'm telling you, when she gets in a rhythm, she is a scary player to guard. Well, and that's what, that's what she does best here on this Saints team, is she's an elite shooter, now, even Grace at such McCall a young age. Grace McCall drove in on Kelsey Shank, but a charge was called, Saints ball. Good one coming off early for the Saints. This is something you don't really see often. It's true, Zoe McCrory checks in for the Saints. Zoe, a sharpshooter. I would definitely get a hand up if I saw her open for three. Speaking of, she will not take the three. One said drive. Good drive there. Takes the floater just front rim. Rebound by Jemaya. Now Sydney Watts in just front rim again. Rebound, Stags. Number 22, Kristen Velhurst pushes it forward over to Faith Cleary to her sister who takes the deep three. Good just rebound off. by Watts. Rebounded yeah. by Sydney Watts who passes it over to Jemiah McPherson, pushing it up the court. Crossover. Misses the layup off the back of the rim. Rebound Stags. Mid range. Stags shooting a Number lot of contested jumpers tonight. Kristen Velhurst takes the mid range. Air ball. As Catherine Goodwin checks back in for Alex Krause. Coach Hetzel giving the freshman a little rest. As Catherine Goodwin brings the ball up for the Saints. Saints 11, Stags 9, 205 left to go in the first quarter. As Goodwin gets a screen from Watts, passes to Shank, back to McPherson who takes the mid range jumper just off, rebound by McCallop, passes it to her sister, over to Mary Grant, who drives on Sydney Watts and gets it What to a go. move there by Grant. Grant's really been a crucial part of the Stags offense here tonight. As Captain Goodwin drives and just misses the free throw, the layup, pardon, as Mary Grant on, down on the offense for the Stags. Pass it to McCallop who drives and loses it. However, it was off on Kelsey Shank. Stags ball. Zoe McCrory coming off for the Saints. Alex Krause checking back in as number 22, Christian Velhurst, is not shaking out, or is, yes. Replaced by number 44, Ali Olsen. Stags pass it in. Out to McCallop, who's guarded closely by McPherson. Now to Grant. We've again lost visual. We're back. <laughs> Number 20, Faith McCallop working on Sydney Watts. Good defense by Watts and Stan Fry. And there's Jemiah McPherson getting in the passing lane. However, cannot recover the ball as Faith McCallop gets it in the corner, guarded by Catherine Goodwin. To turn up. We're going Faith the other way here. Sydney Watts with their fast break layup and she's got it. Well done there by Watts. Sydney, such a good player in the fast break. 
Man, I can't agree more. Her speed transitions on all sides of the court. You know, no matter if we have the ball in possession or if it's the opposite team. As Faith McCall drives, loses it, recovers, passes it over to Mary Grant. We're going to Jemaya McPherson. Less than 30 left in the quarter. McCall up top, guarded by Sydney Watts. Passes it over to Ali Olsen. Back to Grant. Grant pump fakes, picks it up. A face. Faith McCallop working on Catherine Goodwin. Drives, kicks it out. Bit of a scramble there under the basket. Scramble for the basket. Guys. Two seconds left. A three took and made by o Ali Olsen. That'll end the first quarter, tying it up 13-13. That's great awareness there by Olsen. A few seconds left, just throwing it up there even if it doesn't go in. It was an amazing shot under pressure, which made it to tie it up at the quarter. We have a game on our hands, folks. I agree. Great first quarter of basketball here, Aiden. I'm excited to see what the next three bring. I agree. We are back with the start of the second quarter. Looks like the Saints are running the lineup of Catherine Goodwin, number 23, Jemiah McPherson, number 10, Alex Krause, number 2, Zoe McClory, and number 35, Kelsey Shank. On for the stacks here, you have McCallop, 22, Verholst, number 20. Oh, just kidding, that's McCallop again. Faith McCallop, and there's two sisters. 23 and 20 are sisters. Oh. They and foul. Is called. And it appears Olsen's going to be back out there again. Number 23, Grace McCallop will shoot two. Second foul called on Alex Krause. You're good. As McCallop makes the first. While we're here, we'd like to acknowledge some of the alumni from the class of 2007 who are with us tonight. Kaylee Coaster Laptad and Lauren Willis Lawrence are both in the class of 2007. They were part of the 2004 state championship, ch championship team and state runner up teams in 2006 and 2007. As well as Kelsey Jeter Duncan, class of 2007, 2004 state champion and 2006 runner up team. And Kelsey Hills, class of 2007, she was a part of the state runner up team for 2006 to 2007. Welcome back, Saints. We're happy to have you. Always, always, as Catherine Goodwin pump fakes, drives, pass it over to McPherson. McPherson working on number 20, Faith McCallop to Alex Krause. Back to Catherine, into Kelsey, who kicks it out Good to pump Alex. Fake, pump fakes, drives, and is blocked by Allie Olsen. Now Faith McCallop pushing it down the court for the Stags. She drives, kicks it to her sister, who kicks it over to Shot number 22. Kristen Velhurst, who takes a three, misses, gets her own rebound, takes a mid-range and misses. Back out to McCallop, who drives and is fouled. She will have two shots. It's like Grace McCallop is a fantastic player. I was doing some research last night on the Stags. Grace McCallop, their leading scorer this year, number 23, she'll have two. Her first is good. As Sydney Watts checks in for the Saints, replacing Alex Kraus. Grace McCallop's second free throw is good. A lot of familiar faces here tonight. Again, aside as our alumni night, but 
you know, there's something to be said about, especially when we play teams like this, you know. There's a lot of people that like to turn out, and it kind of just shows the community that's built, especially between both Aquinas and Miege. Well said, Ethan, well said. As Zoe McClory passes it to Kelsey Shank in the corner. Make Cannot get anybody open. Has to make a basketball move. Good defense here by the Stags. Zoe McClory back up top. Passes it to Sydney Watts. Reza her pass picked by number 22, Kellen Vihart, but recovers and gets it back. This is a Catherine, Good Catherine Goodwin who takes the three just off. It's not a bad look there by Goodwin. Not at all. The Stags are coming up the, the floor the other side. Grace McCallop passes it out to Kelly Grant, who makes it. Pardon me, Mary Grant. Great look there from Grant again. Really been smart here on our shot selections tonight. That is so true. 13 Saints, 19 Stags, 5.52 left in the half as Catherine Goodwin works on Mary Grant. Gets a pick from Kelsey Shank, pass it over to Sydney Watts. Over to McPherson, who drives. Jump stops. Good move there by Jemiah McPherson. <laughs> Beautiful layer. When she starts making those, it is hard to stop her. Oh man, I'll tell you what, when, when Jemiah has these strokes of genius, you know, it really turns out to be something good for the Saints. There as Mary Grant takes the mid-range, misses. Now Sydney Watts for the Saints, pushing it. She'll drive, kick it to Kelsey Shank, up at top, guarded closely by Ali Olsen. She'll pass it and give Kevin Goodwin a pick. Now Kevin Goodwin goes to work. <laughs> to <Kate. laughs> She'll go baseline with a beautiful layup from Kelsey Shank. Shank a very fundamental player for the Saints, but I'll tell you what, it gets the job done. She is the anchor of this defense and a very, as she gets a steal right and there. I mean, you can see why. It's, it's it forward. moments like that. Sydney Watts back to Kelsey. Two, Jemiah McPherson who gets in the lane. Oh. oh, and barely misses the layup. Now the Stags push it. Faith McCallop takes a Euro step, misses the free throw. Good rebound there by Kelsey Shank to draw the foul. And Ali Olsen went over her back. Yeah, Kelsey Shank, a great player on the on the offensive and defensive side of the court. You don't want to foul her like you did just then, as she's 80% from the free throw line. Oh man. Well, I gotta say that's just her being a great athlete as well. You know, for those who don't know, Shank is also a three-sport athlete. You know, that being volleyball, basketball, and softball. Uh, recently committed to play at Lipscomb University as well for volleyball. So she's she's a total package as far as an athlete goes, and she's been great for the Saints this Just year. an amazing athlete as she works. Gets her own rebound, goes <laughs> back up, and is fouled. There it is. We're going to shoot two here. She's fouled there by number 15, Skylar Smith. Now Kelsey Shank will take two free throws. Kelsey Shank's first is good. Could have made that call with my eyes closed. Now Shank's second is good as well. Now pushing up the court for the Stags is Faith McCallop. Got it closely by Catherine Goodwin. Pass it inside to number 22, Kristen Velhurst, who takes the mid-range and makes it. Kristen Velhurst has came out tonight. McCallop's really looking to put that pressure on Gat Goodwin early. Who kicks out to Alex Krause to pump fakes and drives. Goes up with the layup and is fouled. And number 15, Skylar Smith, picking up her second. And Alex Krause, the freshman, will go to the line. A few more alumni we'd like to recognize here tonight. Haley Sindrich Winkle, class of 2013, and Allie Dirks, class of 2014, who played on the 2011 undefeated state championship team, as well as, as, well as the 2013 state championship team. Katie Brown Beasley, ca class of 2011, played for the 2011 undefeated state championship team and state runner-up team in 2010. Ali Coaster, class of 2016, played for the 2016 state championship team as well. Welcome Impressive. home, Saints. As Alex Krause misses the 
second, but Sydney Watts gets the rebound, passes it inside to Kelsey Shank, and she makes the layup. Man, I'll tell you what, Aiden, I can't get over this duo of Watts and Shank. As down on the other field, Faith McCallop is fouled by Zoe McCleary. McCord. Pardon. That's her first, as Faith McCallop will take two shots. Faith McCallop's first is good. That will tie the game at 22-22, 3.29 left in the half. Faith McCallop's second is just off, rebound Kelsey Shank. Kelsey Shank over to McPherson, McPherson to Watts, who drives, gets good positioning, and makes the layup, Sydney Watts. Great assist from Jemiah McPherson there. Stag's already looking to press the issue. Both these teams responded oh. very quickly. As that little hesitation move by number 22, Ooh, Kristen there. Velhurst. Good move, however, could not make the shot. Now Jemiah McPherson pushing it, throws it off the foot of, McClear, of McCallop, Faith McCallop. Saints ball. I believe that's a kick ball there. If I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. It'll You're happen so correct. fast. Very high-paced game thus far. No team really looking to slow the pace as Alex Kraus receives the pass from Zoe McClary. Goes up and misses the layup. Rebound, Kelsey Shank. Passes it out to McPherson, who drives and makes an acrobatic layup. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Jemiah McPherson. And the Stags need a timeout. Well done there by the Saints offense. Beautiful to see them running the offense on inbound plays. We are back from the timeout. Head coach Kevin McLovey had to talk to his players a little bit after that B basket by the Saints. 26-22 Saints, 2.44 left to go in the half. As number 22, Kristen Velhurst brings up the ball for the Stags. She's working on Sydney Watts. Comes over to help guard McCallop. Up top, McCallop. She's working on Zoe McGlory. So over to Mary Grant. Pass it to Grace McClough. Pass it to her sister. And she'll take a three. Just off. Rebound Sydney Watts. Pushing it down the court. Passes it ahead to Alex Good Crouch. Time. A beautiful pass from Sydney Watts. Ooh. Good move there by number 22, Kristen Velhertz. She couldn't finish We're it going the other way again. Foul is called. Oh, goodness. I, I don't know about that one. It's called by the referees as number three, Carly Kurt, checks in for the Stags. And number 44, Ali Olsen, also checks in for the Stags. I don't know if I agree with that call there. Sometimes I like to see him get on the ground and I believe you should let them play basketball you know I, I I can agree on that call especially I mean the the foul happens after the ball's gone the other way you know but can't argue with the ref's decision at the end of the day it's what they see Shemaya McPherson brings it up the ball for the Saints she receives a pick from Sydney Watts passes out to Alex Krause in the corner Krause picks up her dribble Presents to Zoe McClory. 
Zoe in the corner, hounded by Faith McCallop. Pass it to Shank, over to Watts who loses it. Drives and cannot finish. Rebound Stags. Everything's been falling short for the Saints today, especially within the paint. It's not a problem you want to have here, especially at this level. Could not agree more. Now the Stags. Grace McCallop passing it over to her sister Faith. She'll drive, pass it out to Allie Olsen. Olsen will pass it to a cutting Velhurst who goes up and makes it. Kristen Velhurst. Yeah, she's been great tonight for the Stags. Just trying to create as many opportunities as possible for herself and for her teammates. Truly a phenomenal player. Truly a phenomenal family. I mean, it's a, it's a family full of ballers that they have there. It's true. Now the Saints trying to get the last shot of the half. 40 seconds left. Not without pressure here from Grace McCallop. Jemiah McPherson holding it. Over to Sydney Watts. Guarded by Bellhurst. Out to Shank. Timeout, Saints. This is something you see from Hetzel, Coach Rick Hetzel, very often, especially when the Saints have the ball in the closing minutes. He really likes to set up that play with the last 30 seconds left. We'll see what the Saints have to bring after this short break. We are back. Catherine Goodwin and Alex Krause are now both back in the game for the Saints. Coach Rick Hessel probably looking to go to one of them for the last shot. Goodwin over to Kelsey, back to Goodwin, to McPherson. Now Catherine Goodwin up top with 10 seconds left to go. Notice the Krause there standing in the corner. Catherine Goodwin can't get anything. Great defense here by the Stags. McPherson drives. There it is. Out to Klaus, it's tipped by number 22, Kirsten Verholst. Out of bound, 1.6 seconds on the clock for the Saints. See if they can get something off. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they try and feed Krause there like they did on that last one. Inside to Kelsey Schenker, catches it, goes up. Oh, it just uh, barely lucky. misses it. And that'll be the end of the half. 28 Saints, 24 Stags. Great half of basketball we got here tonight.
And we are back as the second half of play is just about to start. The lineup for the Saints is the starters. Number four, Catherine Goodwin. Number 10, the freshman, Alex Krause. Number 23, junior, Jemiah McPherson. Number 15, senior, Sydney Watts. And number 35, junior, Kelsey Shank. Yeah, great first half of basketball we saw here earlier. Excited to see how things play out here in the next two quarters. As Jemiah McPherson passes back into Kelsey Shank, who makes it. A beautiful lay from Kelsey Shank who has been dominant in the paint on offense. Now the Stags trying to get something going. Mary Grant did not look like she was expecting that pass in the corner. She's working on Jemiah McPherson. We She'll pass it over to Velhurst. We mentioned earlier here tonight. It's a three, just off. The importance of how fast both offenses run. I I think for what's crucial for both teams here, especially in the next half, is just being able to slow each other down, make each other make mistakes. It's true. And the Sags do just that as they pick the ball loose from Captain Goodwin, going her back pocket. Now a three for the Sags, just off. Rebound, Sydney Watts. Now the Saints coming down the floor, attacking Captain Goodwin, passing back out to Sydney Watts, who takes it in the lane, wide open. Watts layup. in the open lane. And the Stags need a timeout. Coach Kevin McLovey needs a full 30. That's pure class there from the Saints. We are back from the timeout after the wide open Sydney Watts layup. Stags are looking to answer as Kristen Velhurst gets a pick from Allie Olsen. She drives and loses it. Will be Stags' ball. A little bit of a double team there with uh, McPherson sliding down to help Shank. Number 21, Lexi Kurt passing in for the Stags. Yeah, nobody gets it in. A foul is called on Alex Krause. I don't know about that one, Ethan. Uh, I mean, Krause seems like she got a little banged up there in the play before. Now Stags looking to pass it in again after the Alex Krause foul. That is her third, by the way. And as I expected, she will be coming out for Zoe McClory. The Stags pass it in. Mary Grant up top, working on Zoe. She'll pass it out. Now, Bell Bellhurst will take a shot. It is off. Ali Olsen gets the rebound and is fouled. Yeah, I can't, can't do that. McCrory came over her back there. Even if she already had possession of the ball, that's still a, it's a big no-no. Allie Olsen, like, she will get a lot more rebounds throughout the rest of this half. As Kelsey Shank gets the rebound for the Saints, however, loses it. Great recovery As there by McCallop. Faith McCallop recovers, pass it over to Mary Grant. Back to McCallop. McCallop to Bellhurst, who takes the layup, and it's good. After a long time on that side of the court, the Stags finally make something out of it, but the Saints answer right away. A great pass from Catherine Goodwin to Kelsey Shank. Now the Stags looking to answer. Mary Grant up top, guarded by Zoe McClory. Zoe guarding her closely to Allie Olsen. Allie Olsen gives it inside, but a little too much on that out of bounds Saints basketball. Great job by Goodwin there to prevent that easy inside. Now the Saints 
Coming down the court, Catherine Goodwin, the floor general for the Saints. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly one way you can say it there, Aiden. She's really commanding. As Zoe there. McRory cuts and gets a wide open layup. What great, a look there. Great vision from Kelsey Shank to get it to her. I mean, yeah, that's just it. If you were to pick out one thing that really stands out from this team, it's their vision and being able to find each other in moments like that. Passing games of the Saints is incredible. Uh, you just the you can't buy taken that. by the Saints is good. Number five, Mary Grant for three. Now Catherine Goodwin driving up the court. A beautiful crossover, hey. and she'll get one to go. Looks like. The Saints here, quick to answer every time the Stags score. Now mid-range, Bellhurst, she misses. Rebound, Mary Grant. She will pass it out to Lexi Kurt. Over to McCallop, back to Kurt. No, excuse me, it's Mary Grant. Who drives, spins, can get nothing. This wall of the Saints defense. The Stags can't seem to get past it. Up top, Bellhurst spins, kicks it out. Three is no good. Now, Jemaya McPherson and Grace McCallop get tied up. Jump ball will be the Stags ball. As Faith McCallop checks in. Stags pass it in. Pass it picked off by Javai uh, Here we go. And she's pushing it up the court. She drives, passes it out, but she uh, travels. It's a bit of a question we'll call there. The Saints, the Saints student section was not happy about that one. I think I think she did. She, I, she I, picked up her dribble and took looking back stumbled at it. backwards. Yeah, I agree. It's a good call by the ref there. Now the Stags trying to take advantage. Verholst over to McCallop. Corner, Mary Grant to McCallop. McCallop will drive on Zoe and she is fouled. Faith McCallop will shoot too. A few more alumni here that we'd like to recognize tonight are uh, Jody Holland Marquez, class of 2001, who took part in the school's first 6A state championship title in 2001. Ebony Halliburton, class of 2002, played on the first state title team in 2001, state runner-up team in 2002, and is being inducted into the Saints Hall of Fame. That's huge for Halliburton. You know, I did have a chance to speak with her a little bit uh, when she came here earlier this semester, or I guess the last semester. Um, had a lot of great things to say. She's now the assistant coach of the K-State women's basketball team. Uh, really just great inspirational person. Amazing to hear these things from alums from Aquinas. As Kelsey Shank up top, pass it over to McPherson. McPherson guarded by McCallop. Now they switch. McCallop takes the ball away from Sydney Watts. Grace McCallop pushing it down for it, passing it to her sister Faith. She loses the ball, but it's picked up by Mary Grant. The jump Ooh. ball. Yeah. Drives, but gets tied up. Jump ball, Saints ball. I think Goodwin thought there was a foul call there, but. Now the Stags are pressing. However, the Saints get it in. McPherson brings it up the court, pass it down to Alex Kraus. Who takes a beautiful behind the back. Has the defender, Mary Grace, a little shook. This coach is saying, pass it into a cutting. Catherine Goodwin who passes it out. Now the Saints moving the ball around as they always do. Tipped by Verholst. It'll be Saints under the basket. Kraus getting a little shifty there. I love Behind to see the stuff back like move. that. You'll see it sometimes. Normally you, teams tend to think she's just a spot up shooter, but she'll get in her bag sometimes. Ah. As a foul is called on the floor. Saints will have it under the basket again. It's a great move there by Goodwin. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. Sydney Watts cuts, but uh. misses the layup. 
Rebound Stags. They're pushing up the court. Fast break. But the Saints recover. However, Faith McGlory drives. Here we go. Not Push get it. Now floor. Sydney Watts to Alex Krause. Krause the mid pulls She's up. got it. She's not just a three-point shooter, folks. The freshman, Alex Krause, when she gets to her spots, she is dangerous. Now the Stags looking to answer. Faith McClory takes a three in the corner, does not get it. Excuse me, Grace McClory. Now, Catherine Gooden finds Alex Krause. Hey! And she makes a highly contested layup. That's it, and Saints are fired up. Look at Coach Rick Hetzel there on the sideline. The Stags need another timeout. That's the beautiful game right there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with you right after this break. And we are back. Saints 42, Stags 30. 148 left to go in the third quarter. Lineup for the Saints. Zoe McRory, freshman Alex Kraus, junior number 35, Kelsey Shank, junior Jemaine McPherson, and senior Catherine Goodwin. You know, we, we talked a little bit before the break about just uh, Alex Kraus in general. I think just looking at an athlete to athlete, athlete perspective, I really admire her confidence here on the floor. I think it's definitely something everyone here can uh, take notes on. I actually asked Rick Hetzel about Alex before the game. I asked him, how is she starting on your team as a freshman and how is she succeeding? And he said, she works so hard. She's always in practice, practicing her shots. The only thing he said that he would like to see from her is to get a little strength. She's a, she's. She's tall, but she's very lengthy and very skinny. You know she's what? She's an amazing athlete. The good thing about that, though, is, hey, this is your first year. We got three more. There's plenty of room to grow, and the sky's only the limit for the freshman here. A starting varsity freshman. She has a very bright future. As Kat Goodwin pushes, the, pushes it up the court after a fantastic stop by the Saints on defense. She's working on McCrory. She passed it, deflected, but Kelsey Shank recovers. Now Alex Krause for three, front rim, rebound Stags. Number 22, Verholz pushing it. She'll pass it over to McCallum, who passes it back to Vell from Verholz, and she'll Bang. hit it. Now the Saints looking to answer quickly after that three by Can Kristen Verholz. You can't give Verholz that kind of space right there. She'll take now, advantage of it. Catherine Goodman driving. She'll get fouled. She'll shoot two. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. As number 21, Lexi Kurt, checks in for the Stags. And number 15, Sydney Watts, checks in for Alex Krause. You see... Catherine shooting free throws, but earlier today at the prep assembly, she was actually bowling. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Uh, we did have our winter and fall sports assembly today here at Aquinas. Uh, just a great way to recognize all sorts of programs for the success and uh, hopefully future success as well. However, the bowling did not affect her touch as she makes both. <laughs> <laughs> now, Verholst driving, kicks it out. A three for the Stags. Just off. Rebound, Kelsey Shank. Yeah, you can kind of feel the game slowing down a little bit as we edge further into this half. The Saints with a 10 point lead, 44 33, with just under 30 seconds left in the third quarter. 
Kelsey Shank up top. Back out to McPherson. Saints looking to get the last shot. McPherson shaking her defender. That is number three, Carly Kirk. To Goodwin. Goodwin to McPherson in the corner. She drives. Passes it to Sydney Watts, but it's off her foot just low on that pass, and the Stags end up with the ball as time runs out. End of the third quarter, 44 Saints, 33 Stags. And we are back after a great performance by the Saints band. <laughs> now Alex Krause is back in the game for the Saints, replacing Zoe McCrory. A little bit of concern here right now for Miege uh, fans. As you can see, uh, McCallop's there behind the bench, hunched over. Prayers up to her, hope everything's going okay. Now her sister, Grace McCallop, Running the offense. Now Verholst over to Kurt. Kurt back to Verholst. Back to Kurt. Now Kristen Verholst. Double dribbles. I know carry is called by the referee. Don't see that often. No. Uh, but every once in a while, a referee will call the carry. You know, I will say they've, they've seemed to loosen up their, their rules about the, the carry. One of the uh, more controversial calls you'll I see. I agree. Now Kelsey Shank bringing it up for it. She is double teamed, but finds Jemima McPherson who finds Alex Krause McPherson. who makes the layup. Come Great on Great passing by the Saints. I mean, it doesn't get better than, it doesn't get much better than that. Now this stag is back on offense as Verhol's desperately trying to make something happen. Now McCallop drives and she'll That's make a, a layup. There. Well done there by McCallop. A good physical finish there by Grace McCallop. Now Stags pressing. Catherine Goodwin to Shank. Back to McPherson, who passes it inside to Alex Krause, who is fouled. Saints will throw it in. Foul was on Mary Grant, her third. Easy I'm look there to, to Shank. Kelsey Shank from Cat Goodwin. Now the Stags trying to make something happen, anything happen. McCallop drives, and she is fouled. She'll take two. <laughs> Gonna take one last announcement just to recognize a few more of our alumni who are here with us tonight. Uh, Sam Paradise O'Malley, class of 2003, was one of the school's first six-state title team and state runner-up team in 2002 and 2003. As well as, as, well as Carolyn McCullough, class of 2004, played for the 2001 state championship team, 2004 state championship team, state runner-up team in 2002 and 2003. She's the second all-time leading scorer, scorer in Aquinas history and a Gatorade Player of the Year. So impressive. Saints alumni are truly terrific. Man, as McCallum makes both. Now Jemaya McPherson putting up the court, slows it down, spins, gets tied up, passes it out to Alex Klaus, who passes it up top. Surely thought she would have gone called for a travel lost. there. To Shank. Shank over to McPherson. Crosses 
gets stuck, passes it, but it's intercepted by Mary Grant, who pushes it down the court for the Stags. Mary Grant back to McCallop, to the corner. McCallop will drive, working on Alex Krause, pass it over to Grant. Now number four, Jojo Gibson. Takes a layup, she can't get it to go. And McPherson will bring it down the court for the Saints. Great defense there by the Saints. Now, Jemiah McPherson to Catherine Goodwin. 46, 48, excuse me, 37 Saints. 5.45 left to go in the fourth. Jemiah McPherson drives in, passes it out. Sydney Watts up top, guarded closely by Mary Grant. And Sydney Watts is called for the push off. It'll be Stag's ball. Oh, excuse me. Foul is on Mary Grant. Yeah, I would have been on and the same uh, boat with you there. And I thought surely she would have been called I for the push off yes. there. But it'll be Saints basketball. It's Catherine Goodwin, pass it inside. And Kelsey oh, Shake yeah. fouls it. And Alex Krause is fouled hard. She gets up, though as she always does. I asked Rick Hetzel, actually, Coach Rick Hetzel, I asked him if he was concerned about her because she was getting, she got beat up against Northwest and he said, she puts herself in that position, she knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> and um, she still chooses to do so. <laughs> you know what, that's, that's well said and at the end of the day. You know, you gotta, you gotta pick up a couple scars when you're fighting with, with the older kids, you know? Exactly. It's, um, it's certainly a battle for her, but uh, I gotta say, she's definitely winning the war here. And Alex Krause's second is good. One for two for Alex Krause. Now, Verholz trying to make anything happen for the Stags. She passes it over to McGallop. Grabs it to number three, Carly Curd, who takes a layup. Just off, rebound McPherson, who passes it forward to Sydney Watts. Watts. fast break. And she makes the fast break layup. Was there ever any doubt there? None at all in my eyes, Ethan. Now a three for the Stags. Just off rebound, Sydney Watts. Good rebound again. Sydney doing everything on the court right now. Saints and Stags just trading off possession here. More the difference ways is the Saints seem to put the ball in the basket, basket and the Stags do not. Now Kelsey Shank up top. Inside to Alex Krause. Over to McPherson. McPherson inside to a cutting Sydney Pump Watts. Pump by Watts. Pumps and finishes. Take a bow, Sydney Watts. Really been crucial for the Saints here tonight. Sydney Watts, an amazing athlete. Now the Stags playing fast on the defense. And the Cowboys will take a three. No good. But Stags get the rebound. Velhurst will take Pull a mid-range. She's got it. Looks like the Stags are going maybe a little too fast for their own good. Yeah, you can see they've kind of dropped off now on their their defense now, here. Alex Krause gets the ball in the corner, does not opt for the three. Now Sydney Watts with the Euro. Euro. She's got hey. it. Sydney Watts is on fire. Now the Saints back on defense as number five. Mary Grant takes a three. She misses. Good rebound by, by Shank. And they get tied up. Jump ball. I mean, goodness, she's putting in some work down there. Kelsey Shank. Such a inter integral part of this offense and defense. Just an all-around great basketball player. As a timeout is taken by the Stags.
55-39 Saints, 3.40 to go in the fourth quarter. We're back after the Saints timeout, called by Rick Hetzel. Line up for the Saints. Number four, Catherine Goodwin. Number two, Zoe McGlory. Number 10, Alex Krause. Number 15, Sydney Watts. And number 35, Kelsey Shank. For the Stags, we have both McCallops. Verholst looks like Kurt and then Gibson there to start. Now Saints pass it in, being pressed by the Stags. Goodwin over to Shank. Shank inside. And City Watts finds the cutting out. Krause for a wide open layup. And Hetzel's just loving that. It's, this all, is, it's all smiles on the Saints bench right now. This is the Saints offense. This is what Rick Hetzel and Samantha Paradise work so hard to see from their players. As Verholz scores an open layup and gets right back on defense, defending Kat Goodwin. She passes it over to Kelsey. Kelsey to Alex. Alex Cross inside to Sydney Watts. She takes it out, slows it down. She's guarded by McCallop. Over to Shank. Shank back there inside to Watts, who takes another way up and I, makes it. I, I gotta say, Aiden, it, it's simple, yet it's so complex. When Shank checks out there to receive the ball, you just leave that gap wide open there in the paint. And that's where Sydney Watts Three really for able to the Stags made it. Lexi Kurt just st stepped up and took it, and she made it. We got ourselves a shootout right now. Now Zoe to Catherine Goodwin, who passes it over to Kelsey Shank, back to Zoe McCrory. Zoe will drive, pass it to Kelsey. I'd like to see her take that layup, but they'll pass it out, reset. Goodwin to Shank. Kelsey Shank, back to Zoe. Zoe McCrory, guarded by Faith McCallop. Now Kelsey Shank up top. Show pass to Alex Krause. Just good ball movement here by the Saints. Just slowing it down, wasting the time away. The foul is called. Stags are gonna have to foul there. At least slow up the game a little bit. See if we can see if they can't get something going. 151 left in the fourth. 59 Saints, 44 Stags. As Captain Goodwin will take two layups. Take two free throws, excuse me. You know, familiar name we mentioned a couple minutes ago, Samantha Paradise. She is one of the alumni we did recognize earlier today. And more conveniently, she is the assistant coach of the Sparsity team here. Uh, she's really been a great addition to the team, as well as the school. As she's our alumni director. So she's been able to set up stuff like this. Um, and goes into a second. So if you're listening, Miss Paradise, later tonight, we appreciate what you do. As the Stags roll it in, Kevin Goodwin. Guarding Verholst, who passes it to McCallop, who drives on Sydney Watts, and it's fouled. And one. And one. We'll shoot for another one here. <laughs> Grace McCallop, a very impressive player. Very tall, very lengthy, hard to guard. She's had a good game. However, I feel that the Saints have done a good job holding her to as, me as much as she's done today considering how good of a player she is. Yeah, I, I can't agree more. I mean, I think both teams have been outstanding offensively tonight, but it's at the end of the day, it's the defense that's really made up, or made the big difference here. And McCallop misses her free throw. Tells to Shank, over to Catherine Goodwin. Who is double teamed, gets it over to McPherson, who is fouled. And Rick Hetzel is not happy about what just went down. I got a feeling we're in here for a long minute and a half. Uh, whether that's the Saints' choice or the Stacks' choice. One thing about Rick Hetzel, Coach Rick Hetzel that I love is that he does not allow for any mistakes to be made on either side of the court for the Saints. Um, a true perfectionist, and that's what makes him so good as he has surpassed 500 wins here as McPherson makes both. Well, you know what, and I can I can agree. I mean, the pursuit of, the, of perfection, especially that he's tried to strive for, I mean, it's what's made him so great. And arguably, he's going to go down as one of the best coaches to ever do it here in the state of Kansas. As Verholz takes a three and makes it in Catherine Goodman's face. <laughs> and she's also double teamed by the Stags, but the Saints get it up the court. 
Alex Krause will get a wide hey! open. She is fouled. She'll go to line. There it is again, Alex Krause getting physical with the older, <laughs> larger players down, down low, but she'll take two free throws. May I ask how many points that is for Krause tonight? Mrs. Krause has 14 tonight. Well done. 15 now with, the, with that free throw. Alex Krause's second is good. Now the Stags pushing it down the court. Verhulst guarded by Goodwin. Now number five, Mary Grant will take a three. She can't get it. Rebound, the Stags. And McCallop goes up, can't get it. Rebound, Kelsey Shank. And she is fouled inside by Mary Grant. Verhulst, I don't think, was ex expecting a foul to be called there. Now, Saints are in the bonus, so Kelsey Shank will take two free throws. Sixty-five forty-nine Saints with fifty-five seconds to go as Kelsey Shank is taking two free throws. And she makes the first. Oh, whistle is blown. A little confused as to what's going on on the court right now. I believe they called a lane violation. But if I'm, I'm correct, her second, and she made it. I had no doubt in my mind that both of those were going in. And the Stags looking to make something happen at the very end. As Good ball movement there. To McCallum, who takes a three, just off, rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Saints ball with 41 to go. McPherson's gonna make herself a little bit extra room there. She is very close there to the camera. You can see. Kind of a Hail Mary throw there, but yeah, it works but in our favor. And Patrick Goodwin is fouled by Faith McCallop. She'll take two more. Following shortly after this game, we will have our boys varsity playing here. I believe tip, tip off will be a little delayed, so you can expect a 7:15, 7:20 even. As Captain Goodwin misses her first free throw, front rim, and her second is also off. Rarely see that from Cat. And the Stags drive. McCallop. Foul is called. Man, Verhulst cannot miss right now. Even though that shot was called off. Saints have done well to stop her as well. And now Grace McCallop will take two shots. You know, I will say, regardless of the outcome here tonight, I think both teams are really going to have a strong future, really bright future going into you know, the next month and the playoffs. I agree, Ethan. I think my 34, Livy Scholl checks in for the Stags. As well as number four, Jojo Gibson. Number three, Carly Kurt. And Number 32, Hey, Avery. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and Avery Young <laughs> checks Sorry. in for the Saints. You can see Ethan excited as his sister oh, runs man. onto the court. Yeah, you, you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second as all of our starters exit off. Um, well done by those guys again tonight. It's been a great game from them. But I will say, you know, it's, it's great as a senior, you know, to see your sister coming in, being a freshman, and just, you know, being able to see the floor a little bit in games like this, you know? Always good to see the young family, also a very prominent family <laughs> at Aquinas, full of athletes. Uh, no, we, I, I appreciate that. You know, we we try our best. You know, and there's certainly a lot more work to do going forward. But you know, I'm, I'm proud to see that she's out here, and you know, just keep working, Avery. Exactly. Good to hear that from a brother. Very supportive brother, Ethan is. Now. 
Saints. Number 21, Katie Gerritsen, sister of Max Gerritsen, who you will see later. Now, Eth Avery Young working <laughs> in the paint as the clock <laughs> runs out. 66 Saints, 51 Stags as the Saints get the victory. Ethan, it's been a pleasure. Hey, thanks for having me. It's been great tonight. I'm glad we could do this. And look forward to the boys varsity game right after this.
that for later. First, we got to get how we're feeling, you know? Just like environment, environment.
athletes, coaches, officials, and fans strength to pursue excellence during this event. We pray for the safety of these athletes, protect them from injury and harm. And finally, we pray for your grace that you would provide us with the endurance to pursue our heavenly prize, eternal life in your Son. Amen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Halo Sports. I'm JP. And I'm Carson. And we're coming to you live tonight from St. Thomas Aquinas High School. We have a rival matchup between the St. Thomas Aquinas Saints and the Bishop May Stags. JP, how are we feeling about tonight's game? You know, this is the most packed I've seen the basketball games in a while. It Should be a good packed. game. I am excited. We have a great game ahead of us tonight. Now time for the Saints introductions. Tip-off is underway. Saints start with the ball. Cooper Wells driving up the court. Cooper Wells down to London. Burton goes up. Does not get uh, it. Will get good. The board in the oh, ball. good shot. Great job from sophomore. Will good. Aquinas with the defense early. Finish driving the basket. Back out. Throws with the defense. Goes up. And gets it. 
Good finish by Miege. Down to White in the corner. Back up to Rose up top. Up to London Burton. for London three. three. Bang. Good. Good for three from London Burton, number five. London's got a lot of talent for this team. Sophomore, young talent, a lot of years left. Love to have him there. Rodriguez with the ball. Passes it off. Oh, oh it's Cooper blocked. Welsh with the block. Cooper Welsh right at the court. the court. Rose with the drive. Off to Cooper. Cooper driving. Delay. Up. Oh, Dancing. it's good. Number two, Cooper Welsh. Number two, Cooper Wells, two year starter for the Saints. With a Great smooth talent shot. Him. Rodriguez with the shot, it's good. Rodriguez feeling himself early. Back and forth ball game to start. London looking for Will, finds him. Oh, oh. deflected by Miege. Turnover. Ooh, Rodriguez, Rodriguez with a tough play. finish. We'll go top of the key. Down to Rose. Intercepted by Rodriguez. Sags driving. Oh, denied not, by the rim. Not get it. Good save by Rose. Back to Rodriguez, driving down. Foul on White Lewis. We'll be on the floor. First foul for the Saints tonight. Maria's up top. London Burton with the number great four defense. Armstrong. Driving in, turnover. To Wyatt. Oh, oh he it out. Rose did not see the pass coming at him. Aquinas needs to limit their turnovers here. Absolutely, I agree. Mays will get the ball back. Armstrong up top. Back to Rodriguez. Looking for something down low, not getting it. I'm strong in the corner. Oh, good defense by London. Oh! oh. Mm. Questionable call from the ref. Fans do not like it. Yeah, I'd call that one a trip, not a foul. I'd have to agree with you there, JP. McCallop up top. Back to Rodriguez. Foul underneath. I believe that's gonna be on number 32, Will Good, sophomore. Rodriguez is throwing it in. Oh. 22, Jensen with the drive and the bucket. A finish. Great drive there from Jensen. Cooper to what? White looking for the shot. Will good up top. To Will. Just it inside up, the three. Good. It. Great shot from Will Good. Oh, White gets beat. Does not matter. Rose with a tough the rebound. Ball. That's why it will dribble it down. You know, Carson Aquinas' offense looks great right now. I Other than agree. the turnovers, they look great. I agree. Rose from deep. Bang! Oh! Hit that one for the Will parking lot. Rose from deep. Great shot. There. How about it? JP, I'm have to say, that's going to be a key to the next game. Will Rose getting hot from the three-point line. 
I would agree with that one. We would like to welcome back Saints alumni tonight. We're excited to see you and your families in attendance. We'd like to recognize a few of you at this time. We would like to recognize Tyler Drogi, class of 2000, Quentin Tata, class of 2005, and Jake Coopersmith, class of 20, 2006, and current head coach of the Saints. He has been a great coach for the Saints. I've heard from the guys that love having him around. Great coach, great leader. Lucky to have him here over here at Aquinas. You know, it is a packed house tonight, JP. Beautiful Friday night. Everyone looking for a great game. Showing is great. So hopefully we can, hopefully the Saints can deliver a win here. I haven't seen the student section this packed in a while. Rodriguez to start out the timeout. Wyatt Lewis, number 11, with impeccable defense for the Saints. Really been great this year. Looking to see more of that tonight. Ooh, good D by Cooper. Oh. Another foul. Number five, London Burton. Fans do not like it. Saints need to be careful. Picking up a lot of fouls early. Refs are calling quite a bit. <laughs> Juju Marks and Zay Freeman in for Will Good and London Burton. Oh. Ooh, Rodriguez throws with the steal. Wyatt Lewis taking it down the court. Over to Rose up top, oh. going down. Three ball, no good. No good. Stags will get the rebound. Aiden Wang for three, it is good. Great job from him. Lots of scoring here in this first quarter. Cooper Rose with the ball up top. Over to White Lewis. Oh, oh trying to find a Rose, but it did not work. Oh. Lay there Armstrong Rodriguez. to Rodriguez for the finish. Stay free up top. Rose to Zay, to Wyatt Lewis. Wyatt. Cooper to Rose. Wyatt oh. Lewis. Ooh. Passes up the shot. Zay dribbles Zay in. The floater. Good. Great floater there from sophomore Zay Freeman. Discipline play by Wyatt Lewis to pass it off for the easier shot by Zay Freeman. Lots of talent coming from Zay Freeman. Cooper Wells with a good defense. Armstrong with the ball, driving. Does not, oh, uh, does get it. My mistake. Good defense, but even better finish. Cooper with the ball. Over to Lewis. Looks like Miege is in a 2-3 zone here. Trying to limit the inside game for Aquinas. Absolutely. Down to Juju. Up Absolutely. top to Rose. Drives, finds in the finds corner. Finds Cooper, Cooper for Cooper three. Rose. Does uh, not No fall. good. Oh, and a foul called. Stag's ball. Another foul on the Saints. Looking hopefully to get those fouls out early. Rodriguez with the shot. Oh. 
Good defense by Max. Oh, Rodriguez picks up the foul. Saints needed that one. Max Garrettson checked in for Rose. Looks like Rose is coming back in the game for number two, Cooper Welsh. Number 24, Max Garrettson in the game. Finds Zay up top. They are sticking in this 2-3 zone. Zay dribbling up top. Waiting for the time to expire to get the last shot. Finds Rose up top. All the way Back over to Rose. Rose. Four seconds on the clock. Oh, oh it's a foul. Oh. Number two, Rodriguez. Saints will take that one. Get that's for sure. Three seconds on the clock. Miege was not a fan of the call there. Yeah. Kuja Marks passing it in. Over to Freeman. Three seconds. Got to take a shot. Rose, Rose for three. Deep. Oh. oh. Misses the front rim. And that will do it for the fourth, four, first quarter here. High scoring. It is Aquinas 14. Miege 15. Looks like. And we're back for the second half. Second quarter, excuse me. Looks like Aquinas is going in their own 2-3 zone. Oh, he gets it. Number five. Aiden Wing. Aiden Wing. Great shot from Wing. Freeman driving down quick. Rose looks for the shot. Didn't like it. Finds Max Garrison. That's a Max. Over to Freeman. Freeman out to Max Over again. Over to Garrison in the corner. Looking for something low. Finds good. Into Will. Drives in. Oh, he's stuffed. Double team. Out to, out to Max. Over to Back Freeman. To Freeman. Open Wants shot. shot. And hey! it's oh! Zay Freeman with the three. The sophomore. Coming off a recent injury. Looking good out there. Happy to have him back. Looks as good as could be. Max Garrison with the defense. Known for his great D. Looking like they're back in a man to man. Oh, Juju. Trying to drive. It. Juju with the defense. For three with the wow. shot. It's good. Great man. defense. Even better finish. Ooh. Freeman trying to start something up. Up top. Over to Rose. Inside to Juju. To good. Down low to good. And, and one! Oh. Will good. Love to see it out there. And one for the Saints. It's exactly what the Saints needed. Looking to get momentum going in their way. 
Max Garrison subbed out for number two, Cooper Wells. Wyatt Lewis also in the game for Juju Marks. Let's see if we can tie it up here at the free throw line. We'll get it with the free throw. Oh, oh hits ball. the back rim. Oh. oh, Rose with the over the back call. It's not what he wanted. Not what we want or need. Will be Stag's ball. Stag's lead by one. Blaine Marshall bringing it up. Up top to wing. Finds McCullough. Oh, backdoor cut to Marshall. Wow. Ah, good play by Miege. That's, that's great offense. Welsh with the ball. Over to Lewis. Down low to good. Back up to Lewis. Finds Cooper Welsh in the corner. Cooper to say. Ooh. Going to be a foul on number 11, PJ McCollum. Refs are calling fouls like there's no tomorrow here. Absolutely. Lewis over to Freeman, to Wells. Looking for something down low, not finding it. Lewis with the ball up top. Over right, to fine Freeman. Today. For three! For three. Oh, off the front rim. Rose Gotta find a better shot there. there. Wing in the corner, driving. Ooh, right up for three. It's no good. Johnson with Saints the got bailed out there. Saints looking to get some offense going here. Lewis from three. Ooh. Does not fall. Johnson driving. Corner three. Man. Air balls it. Oh, they call a foul. Carson, this Miege zone is forcing Aquinas to shoot threes, and it's looking like a weakness here today. Absolutely. Two threes seems to be working for him. Oh. Find McCullough for the easy lay. Going to be a timeout, Saints. We would also like to recognize a few more alumni here tonight. Steven Raditzik, class of 2011 and a current coach. Joseph Raditzik, class of 2013. Tyler Clement, class of 2013. Matthew Martin, class of 2013. And John Conley, class of 2014. BH leads 24 19. 454 left. Since classic Wiggalo going on in the student section. Nothing better. Nothing better than the good old Wiggalo. I'm looking across me in the Saints alumni section over there, and it is a packed house. Even got parents standing over here to the left. They're feeling it. Electric environment here tonight. Oh, the elect electricity is definitely here. Let's see if the, the Saints can live up to it. It's always good to see the good old faces come back and see how the school's doing. Will be Saints ball. Saints down five. Five minutes left here in the second quarter. Close with the ball. Over to Burton. Oh, oh it was one in the lay. And one! one Rose. Great put back there from Rose. The Saints are home cooking tonight. Welsh was looking for London there in the alley oop. Did not get it. Rose to the free throw line is good. Rodriguez dribbling around. 
Finds wing up top. Driving. Gets it. Wing. Good offense here from the A's tonight. The Stacks came here to play. Over in the corner. London Out to Burton. London. It's and good! Oh. London Burton. 4 3. three. Oh, he is right back at you. Jensen with the two point. Saints got to get back on defense. Back on defense, looking to start up some offense. Welsh up top, over to Burton. Back to Welsh. Finds Rose in the corner. Back to Rose. For three. Rose for three. It's and good! Balls. Bang! Rose, known for his shot, does not miss often. Rodriguez with the ball, looking to get some offense going here. We have a tie ball game. Number five, wing with the ball. The crowd is feeling it right now. From three, does not fall. Jensen with the Rose miss. Rose with the board. Taking it slow, setting Ooh. up some offense. Welsh driving. For the drive. And he oh, and it. a soft finish. A beautiful way from Cooper Welsh. Little jelly by Cooper Welsh. Oh. oh. Saints need to get back on defense there. What a finish by Cooper Welsh, number two, the junior. Lots of talent from Cooper out there. Two-year starter for him. Plank. Number 11, P.J. McCullough with the free throws here. 0 for 1 so far. McCullough, the 6'4", the 6'6", six, six foot senior. Free throw's good. You no, know, I have to say, I think the Saints have a height advantage over the over Miege. Definitely. That's, I think that's why they're in the 2-3 here. Trying to spread the game to the three-point line. Will Good standing 6-10. Juju Mark standing 6-5. 6-10, my gosh. That is one tall unit. Max to Wyatt. Roast up top. Over to Lewis. Boost the spin move. Go shake and bake. Oh. Great offense there from number 11, Wyatt Lewis. Love to see it from him. Number five, Wing, driving. Oh, and he gets fouled. First free throw from Aiden Wing, good. Second one coming up. Second one falls. Two and two there for the free throws. Wells bringing the ball up. Wells down to Rose. Ooh, Rose looked for the three. Decided to pass on it. Down to Will, good. Ooh. Out of bounds. Will be Saints ball. Welsh with the inbound. Finds Rose, Rose to in the Rose. corner. Down to good. Oh. Ball. Rims out. Rodriguez bringing it up. Ooh. Wing 
but the shot does not fall. Good with the rebound. rebound. Rush driving. Rush goes in, kicks it out. Oh. oh no, ball. no good. Rodriguez driving down the court. Over to Armstrong. Goes up. Ooh. Swatted by Will Rose. You know, Max touched the ball on the way up. I think that stopped the guy from getting it up there. I agree. One minute left remains in the second half. Juju Marks checking comes in, in. Checking in for Will Good. <coughs> Aiden Wing with the ball. Driving. Floater. That's and good. Gets the end one. Ooh, Cooper Smith does not like that one. Cooper I would have Smith to agree. Doesn't like it. Student section doesn't like it. We don't like it. Quite the controversial call from the ref. And he is hearing it, let me tell you. He is. Freeman checking in for Garrison. And it falls. Welsh with 11 the ball. with a good D. Roast up top. Over to Lewis. Trying to run some offense here. Zay Freeman up top. Almost intercepted. Over to Lewis. Roast, Roast up for top. three. Up deep. Oh, oh it's not fall. Wanted it badly, did not get it. Over to McCullough. Trying to run out the clock here. Yeah, Mia's looking to get the last shot. Wing with the ball. Oh, oh roast the steal. The steal. Two seconds left. Pass it off. Ooh, did not get it. It is halftime, folks. Saints 32, the age 34. Stay tuned. We got a tight game. We'll see you back in 10.
we're back. Going at you. Back from halftime. Second half. And the student section is electric right now. Rightfully so. We got a good game on our hands. Saints 32. One of our, classic, 34. One of our classic traditions there. We'd like to acknowledge a few more alumni that are in the building tonight. We got Jack Gable, class of 2019. Matthew Connor, class of 2019. Zach Janello, class of 2019. Joseph Rose, class of 2019. And Will Gavin, class of 2022. London for three. Oh, no good. Rose with the board. And oh. Ooh. Can't Tried finish the back. Did not get it. Number four, I'm trying driving down. Oh, the foul there. Saints are racking up those fouls. Number 22, Dagan Jensen will be shooting two. Coming up a little slow there. Jensen there, standing at 6'5". Lots of talent from him. Second attempt here. Gets it. Saints not really known to be a second half team. Hoping to turn that around tonight. Agreed. Saints could use a victory here. To Rose! Rose from deep. Oh. Not get it. Denied by the rim. Rodriguez pass it out. I'm strong with the ball. With the lay. Does not fall. Oh good. They get the board back. Rodriguez with the drive. Oh. Yes! Offensive foul, Rodriguez. Going to be Saints ball. Gave Cooper Welsh a little push off. Great call. Will be Saints ball. Saints need some points here. Looking to get something going here on offense. A little good with the ball. Driving in. With the lay. Ah, not get it. Not there. Gets it back. Oh. Loses it. Stags ball. Rodriguez driving down the court. Wing with the lay. Does not fall. Burton with the rebound. London. Up Driving to Roast. Down. Watch your head. Oh. Foul. You know, Aquinas playing with some great effort here, but they're not getting points. And at the end of the day, points wins the games. Absolutely. Rose with the first one. Second attempt coming up. Gain the second one. You know, JP, we had knockout today there and I went to assembly. Rose was participated. And let me you tell know you. You know who won? Will Rose did. He did not miss a shot, let me tell you. Don't plan on missing any more of those. Rodriguez with the ball. A little shake and bake. Oh, oh. Not get it. puts him in a Great spin defense. cycle and misses the shot. Offensive rebound. Back. Great D there from Welsh. Lewis bringing it up. <laughs> Welsh with the ball. Over to Lewis in the corner. With Lewis the three. for three. Does oh. not get it short. No good. Burton with London the with a great rebound. Ah. I mean, he got up for that one. Slow to get up. Slow indeed. 
Lots of booze happening right now. Let me tell you, London jumped very high to grab that ball. The A.H. fans are not liking that call. Rodriguez with a good sportsmanship. Got to respect it. Burton will be shooting here. Gets the first one. Like the little sound effect there, JP. <laughs> Second attempt coming up. Gets it. Splash. Those free throws, free throws are very important. They sure are. Saints down two. Stags with the ball. Over the wing. Mm. Looks like it's going to be a foul. Wow, a little good. Real good. Another questionable call from the ref. Gotta watch those hands. Refs are calling. Gotta watch them. everything. Oh, Rodriguez! That's gotta be a travel, People right? Yep. The travel and they get it. How about it? Good defense by the Saints. I'd say the refs are calling a pretty fair game here tonight. Love to see it. Close with the ball. Side to good. Backing down. Taking Wing. him into the doghouse. Lewis up top. Lewis. Oh. Not fall. Great shot attempt. Do not get the board. Great attempt from Rose there. Trying to get the board. Armstrong with the ball. Great lay from him. He gets it in. Going to be a timeout here from the Saints. Maybe not. Just a substitution, Just I a think. substitution. False alarm. Error on our end. Yep. Apologies. Walsh with the ball. Let's see if Zay can bring some intensity off the bench. Oh. Three from Rose does not fall. Oh, oh breath. Can't say I'm a fan of that one. They're calling just about everything here tonight. Sure are. Saints down four with five remaining here in the third quarter. Over the back on Aquinas. Stag with an air ball there from the three point line. And the air ball chants are alive and active. Yes, they are. Always a classic. Gotta love it. Always a classic. No. Rodriguez with the ball. From for three. three. Oh. Not fall short. Xavier with the rebound. Bringing it up. Looking for a fast break. Off to Cooper. Rose to Rose. Up top from three. Oh. Not fall. Burton with the rebound. Good with rebound. The back, and he gets oh, it. And one. And one. London Burton. London Burton. The 6-2 sophomore. Great effort from London there. Give me that. That's a tough player right there. Tough play for a tough player. Burton two for two tonight from the three-point line. That three for three. In London, unfaced by the crowd. Gets the shot. Carter gets up the ball. Ooh. Over 20 with the shot. No ball. good. Aquinas D is looking great right now, forcing him to the threes. Down to Will Good. Definitely a mismatch oh, down there. Goody gets his cookies taken. Armstrong with the layup. <laughs> Cannot be having those for Aquinas, let me tell you. Burton with the ball. Over to Rose in the corner. Down low to Will Good. To Zay. Oh. Did not want the shot. To Good. 
Look Stolen good. away. The turnovers. Freeman gets the shot. Back to back turnovers there from the Stags. Both resulting in points. Timeout. Saints. Saints down five. Saints keep chipping away, but they just cannot take the lead. Gotta limit the turnovers. Gotta like, limit the turnovers. Like I said earlier, I think a key to tonight's game is getting Will Rose hot from the three-point line. I'd love to see it. Have to say I'd it. love to see it. I have to say I haven't seen much of it yet, but... He is due. He is due. Saints band, absolutely electric. Looking good over there. Killing the game. They are awesome. Saints band, shout out to them. Shout out Saints band. Keep it up, guys. Welsh up top. Oh, foul. Rose does not like that one. First one falls there for Rose. Rose with the second attempt here. It falls. Blast. Back out to Rodriguez. We're setting the offense here. 20. Hayward. Drives in. Driving. Good D by Juju. Oh, buddy. Not good enough. Sneaks in there. London drives in. Oh. Basket does not fall. We'll be shooting two free throws here. I mean, Aquinas is absolutely finding lanes. and Coaches are fired up down there. They are. These free throws are huge, let me tell you. They're exposing this Miege defense. This is the first one. Unlike him. Second attempt coming up. Ball. London hits it. Poise from the sophomore. Two minutes left here in this third quarter. Armstrong with the drive, does not fall. Over to Johnson. Oh, come and on. And one. Great offense there from the A's, have to say. Saints have got to get those offensive rebounds. Number three, Marion Johnson with the free throws. Max Gerritsen and Wyatt Lewis subbing in for Will Rose in London Burton. And he makes up. Free throw falls. Saints cannot afford to get behind Not even more. All. Passing it around the horn. To Max Gerritsen. Over to Lewis. Over White to save for three. three. It is get no it. good. Tries to fight for the board, does not get it. Juju with a good effort down there. Armstrong with the ball. Good defense by White Lewis. Rodriguez back up top. 
number four, Mac Armstrong. Great athlete there for the for the Stags. Was the quarterback for the football team. Oh, good defense by Welsh. Get that off of the rebound. Lewis, Lewis pushing it. To Out to them. Ah. Oh. Intercepted. And Mie's crowd is letting Aquinas hear it right now. Yes, they are. See if Aquinas can silence them. Aquinas down seven. Here it's with the defense. Johnson with the ball. Ah, Another foul. foul call. Welsh not happy down there. Not happy at all. Fantastic sportsmanship from number 24, Max Gerritsen. Love to see it down there. The, the junior standing 6'3". Absolute great all-around player down there, Max Gerritsen. Did some workouts with him this offseason. He really puts in the effort. See if he can contribute tonight. Absolutely. First one is not fall. Rose checking back in. Rose checking in the game for Cooper Welsh. Second one falls. Good. Saints ball here, down eight. 52 seconds remain here in the third quarter. Lewis up top. Miege back to a man to man. Deflected. Aquinas ball. Looking for something. Finds Freeman. Oh, safe oh, finds good. Lewis! Great lane. It's good. <laughs> Lefty lay there from Lewis. Mitch can't stop a bloody nose. You know, I like that one. I've heard that one before. I like it. Oh, intercepted Lewis. by Wyatt. With the great defense. Oh, and, and he gets one. him. Oh. On the floor, it looks like. Great Wyatt defense. Lewis. Great defense from Wyatt Lewis. Love to see it out there. Love the effort. Bringing the energy. He will be shooting. My mistake. Coming in the game for, for Will Roast. 11 seconds remain. Call up with the ball. Over to Armstrong. Armstrong drives in. Shot. Good D by Cooper Welsh. Juju with the last second heave. That's no not, good. No good. Great effort, though. I'd have hit a couple good. cheerleaders. Special guest here tonight. I'm with William Maher, JV, JV, JV star. basketball player. I gotta ask, how did the JV game go today? Um, we won by like 12, all around. Just great effort by the boys. Love to see it. Love to see Inspiring it. Inspiring words by William Maher. How, how have practices been this week? Practices good. Team looking good. Oh yeah, 100 percent every day. You know, just like full effort from everyone. Um, Hey, that's what we love to hear. What, um, what is the key to Aquinas winning this game? The key to Aquinas winning this game. 
Um, just you gotta play as one, you know. You gotta move the ball, look Oops. inside, and finish at the rim. Hey, couldn't agree more. Great myself. talking to you, William. Thank you, William. Thank Appreciate you. it. William Meyer, great talent from him. Looking for big things next year on the Sparsity squad. And the fourth quarter is underway. Let's see what this game has in store for us. Stags with the ball. Saints down four. I have to say, JP, this has been a great game. Back and forth. High scoring. What a good game. say with anyone else, man. Thanks, man. Fourth quarter is away. Rodriguez with the ball. Finds Armstrong in the corner. Armstrong out to. I'm going to wing to Johnson down there. The Saints need a stop here. Absolutely. Definitely need momentum heading in our way. Did you mark to the defense up top? Oh! Armstrong for three. In the corner does not fall. Air ball. Oh, and it's right back to Zay. Zay's going to Wyatt. Wyatt gets in. Oh. Does not fall. To the free throw line. We Lewis go. We'll be shooting too. Falls. Forty-seven fifty. Miege leads by three. Armstrong with the ball. Over to Hayward. Armstrong. Armstrong driving. Does, Does not, not fall. Will Good with the rebound. Will Good with a strong rebound. Him being 6'10 definitely helps out a lot. You know, mismatch down there with Hayward. See if oh. he can do something. Oh, baby. Wow. We'll be shooting too. I'd like to say a quick thank you to everyone tuning in tonight. Hopefully we're keeping you all entertained. Having a blast up here. Down one. Full house here tonight. Absolutely. Let's see if Aquinas can pull through. Oh, tough, tough shot, but it falls. Aiden Wing. Welsh bringing it up. Close to Rose! Oh, yeah! Fifty-one, fifty-two. Saints are chipping away. We'll call it with the ball, so. Armstrong. Oh! He falls over! Loose ball! Trying to fight. Will be a jump Looks ball. like a jump ball. And Saints, it's Aquinas ball. ball. Exactly what the Saints needed here. 
Absolutely. The effort is showing tonight. Love the energy from the boys tonight. Looking great out there. Timeout. Timeout, Aquinas. Be the second one for the Saints tonight? Yes. Quick shout out to my dad. Wouldn't be here without you. Love you, Pops. You're tuning in, you're here for quite the game and quite the finish. Five minutes, 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter, 51-52, Miege lead. Aquinas crowd is feeling good. Oh, and Lewis is getting chirped. Doesn't phase him. Oh, the oh, long pass good. by Cooper! It's a well good! It's that's, good! That's great offense from the Saints. And the Saints are leading! Great look from Cooper Walsh. Saints crowd is getting electric. Oh. It's a trouble! Oh. How about that? Chills from that one. Chills. And you can feel the energy here tonight. Absolutely. Feeling myself up here. You can't do that, Chet. Chance coming in. Snatched by Rodriguez. Rodriguez seems to be the key player for Miege here. Controlling the offense. First free throw. It's oh, no good. Right. With the help of the Saints crowd. I would say number two is phased. Looking to keep that going for sure. Second attempt coming up. Balls. Cats. Got tie game here, folks. Five minutes remain. We'll Lewis go finds London. We'll go looking for the ball down low again. Did not find it. Lewis up top. Welsh. Over to get. Out to Burton. Mm. Quick jumper. No good. No good. Gets the board. Goody with the rebound. Loses it. Stag's ball. Mia's just running. A little shake and bake. Off to number three. Outside. He's inside. Oh, oh block by Ryan Lewis. Well, driving down. Roast in the corner. For three. Get go. Will Roast from three. From a different area coach. You know, JP, there are three things certain in life. Death, taxes, and we're hitting from three. Number two for three to answer. No good. No good. good with the rebound. Off to London. Looking to slow it down a little bit. Let's see what Aquinas can do here. Lewis finds Cooper. <laughs> good. Good with the ball up top. Stolen. Oh, good. Gets it back. Loses it. Oh, Rodriguez dribbling up the court. 
to Wing. Oh, there's a foul. It's in. Oh, it's oh. an offensive foul. London burned in. Momentum is flowing in our way. The Saints are home cooking tonight. You can't do that, Chance. Super loud. Love to hear it. Rose with the ball. Lewis, back to Rose, over to Welsh. Back to Lewis, down low to good. Looking for something. Oh, good gets the hook, yeah. Oh, that's going to be an offensive foul. Every time. Can't be doing that one down there. Jump ball. Let me say it's ball. with the ball. Over to Burton. Down to Cooper Welsh. Top of the key. Oh, oh Cooper Welsh gets it taken. Oh, and a foul. That foul is going to be on Cooper Welsh. Rodriguez snags it from Cooper Welsh. Definitely an anchor foul there for Cooper. That's for sure. They call that a technical? Did they? Not sure what the technical's on, but I guess so. Extremely questionable. Could have been a loud mouth. Could have technical. Been a Could have been any of that. The crowd is loud for this free throw. Oh, the stands are shaking. It's good. Absolute poise from number two, Jason Rodriguez. And he does it again. Completely unfazed. We're going to have a timeout here from the stacks. Boy, do we have a game here today, Carson. We do indeed. Saints up one, two minutes, 20 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Stag's ball here. I'm trying with the end now. Two Rodriguez. Rodriguez to a little show and he makes it. Great offense from Rodriguez. Rodriguez with a little hezzy. Gets in. Good move. 
Cooper Welsh to London. Yeah, London inside. Easy it. shot. How about that? Great floater there for Burton. Saints regain the lead. Oh, Miege gets in there. Gets it right back. Back to back scoring. Ooh, Cooper Welsh using his arm. He gets in there. Bang! Cooper Welsh! Another score change. Saints get back on defense. Oh, oh. the ref! Hands were up. Welsh does not like it. I don't like it. Crowd doesn't like it. I mean, there's nothing Welsh can do about that one. Hands are up. I like to call it good defense. Oh. Looks like Zay is coming in. Zay coming in for Welsh. Welsh fouled out. He will be done for the night. Great game for Cooper Welsh. He did. Great defense. Great effort overall. Those two points previously, very big in this game there with one minute left. Tough loss, but Saints will, Saints will have to live. Rodriguez misses. And he misses. Point. It rolls out. That's a big one, JP. That's a big one. That is a big one. Needs this to tie. Crucial free throw here for Rodriguez. Seems yeah. he's like at the free throw line all the time. Oh. He, he thought he missed it. But he just oh, and he gets it back. Sloppy play from the Saints. Lewis with the foul. Rodriguez is putting this team on his back. He is indeed. He's putting on a show tonight. Heads up play there from Rodriguez. Saints need to just eat that one up. Not worry about it. Not taking it to the next play. Rodriguez back at the line. Oh, oh. and he makes it. Let's see if this crowd will get to him. And he hits it. Second one falls, stags up two. Lewis bringing the ball down the court. Picks it out to Goody. We'll get up top over to Freeman. London to London. To oh, a little shizzle. Oh! Baby! Oh, no, we're going for you and Mike! The emphatic oh, slam! London burnt it! Saints Crown loves it. I love it. Oh! Jump ball! We'll it's gonna be the ace ball, but we'll Back take it. Ace. London Burton electrified his team and his crowd. JP, I don't know about you. Adrenaline's popping up here right now. That was awesome. That was awesome. He is going to take another timeout. Will be the third. Two or man. Two or man also for the Saints. Oh, we did it. What are you looking to see in this final minute from Aquinas? Need some good defense for sure. I agree. No turnovers. Can't afford turnovers this late in the game. Hands are shaking right now. Manage with the ball. A minute remains. Coming down to the wire here, JP.
What's new? Rodriguez up top. Lead in this offense. Over to Johnson in the corner. Back up to Rodriguez. 30 seconds remaining. We're going to take a lot of time off this clock. Twenty seconds remain. Timeout. Timeout stacks. Looking like Mia is gonna take the last shot there. They want it bad. Let's see. The Saints can get a stop. I know Cooper Smith is definitely getting on the guys right now. No foul. No foul. Definitely. Cooper Smith's a great defensive minded coach. Aquinas wanted to see what uh, Mih was looking to run there. Smart timeout by Cooper Smith. Very You know, Carson, I wouldn't mind a little overtime. Man, wouldn't that be a crazy end of this game? It would be. So my mouth? Wing to take it out of bounds. Into Rodriguez, past half court. Rodriguez taking it up. 12 seconds remain. The age will be taking the last shot. Wyatt Lewis with the defense. They look for the back door cut. No the. Armstrong with the ball. London Burn with the good team. No good. Oh, the board. they get the stop. And we're going to overtime, folks. Oh my goodness. What a game we have here. Absolutely great defense from the Saints. Could walking have, the up. Could not have drawn that up better myself. It does not get much better than this on a Friday night like this. No, it does not. Sixty, sixty-two, sixty-two, going in overtime. How about this for a Friday night, JP? No place I'd rather be than no the wonderful St. Thomas Aquinas. Man, I love this school. The alumni won a ball game. Boy, did they get a ball game. Indeed they did. The Aquinas student section is erupting. Shaking the booth up here, JP. Sure are. Starting off with the tip off. Four minutes here in this overtime. Good wing to take the tip. It's up. Oh, wow. Goody slams it down the court. 
Interesting decision. I've not seen that many times before, JP. Stags with the ball here. Armstrong with the ball. Out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez driving. Rodriguez with the Hezzy. Oh. No gets, good. Gets fouled. We'll be shooting too. Six two Rodriguez at the line. Shot is up. No good. No good. Second attempt coming up from under guys. Hits it. Lewis bringing the ball down the court. Stags up one. Over to Burton. Down Burton to Freeman. Is down low. Gets oh. deflected. Did not get it back. Stags with the ball. Those turnovers are going to hurt. Not what we want with three minutes remaining in overtime. It is not. Wing up top of the ball. Freeman with the defense. Into the corner. Armstrong. No good. No good. Over to Lewis. See if Lewis can direct some good offense here. Ooh, Rose wanted it. Out to London. To Wyatt. Wyatt back to London. London to Rose. Rose three. Up three. Goes from three. Saints take the lead. 65-63. And the defense chants are in rhythm. Rodriguez back with the ball. Rodriguez trying to get that foul. Ooh, oh, almost intercepted. Oh, you're out. In Gets for it. number three. A Marion Johnson. Lewis, Lewis drives in, tripped. That's got to be a foul. Call yes. It. Number four, Mac Armstrong. Armstrong does not like it. Saints crowd loves it. Yeah. Armstrong reached his hands in there. Could not be having that. Lewis will be shooting. These are crucial. First one does not go. Lewis upset. Max Garrettson checking in the game. Second attempt. No good. Misses both. Roast oh. with the good oh. effort. And we get it. I think it's a... I think it's on the edge. Yes! On the edge. Mac Armstrong. Oh, Mac Armstrong is fueling. Two in a row. He does not like it. The A's coaches do not like it. That's great effort from the Saints there. Two missed free throws. Throwing bodies on the floor to get that ball back. Love to see it. Gross with the free throws. Ah, does not make it. That is unlike Mr. Rose. I got him making this one. Hey, can't make them all. Like you said before, three things certain in life. Death, taxes, 
Rose hitting his free throws. Absolutely. Point stands. Saints up one, two minutes remain here in overtime. Rodriguez, with Rodriguez the ball. mixes him Doesn't up. Make something happen. In there. Does no good. Make it. Rose, Rose with, with the, the rebound. rebound. High intensity play there from Rose. Great board from him. Lewis Over to, to London. In the corner. Fumble Fumbles to the little. Oh, out to Garrison. Max. Loses it. Trying to get it back. Ball slipping everywhere. Rodriguez on the ground. Looks to be good. We'll be Saints ball. Garrison checking out. Freeman coming in. Garrison has to be ready for this. Burton in the corner. Back up to Lewis. Finds Roast. Back to Burton. They're going to be milking this clock as much as they can yes, here. Yes, they are. Back to Burton. Good D by Miege. Over to Freeman. Roast double teamed in the corner. Foul Miege. Oh, timeout. Excuse me. Hard to see things up here sometimes. You got to commend both teams. Every player is playing with effort, playing great. Classic Sweet Caroline coming in. Really? You can never go wrong with the good old Sweet Caroline, can you? Never misses, Carson. Never misses. game we have here. Saints up one. A minute and three remain. Will be Saints ball. Lewis with the ball. Up top. Ooh, double team. Oh, he finds London. One and dribbles out. be looking to foul here. Almost snatched from behind. Saints Ball's gotta be careful here. Saints ball. You know me is gonna be looking to foul here. Definitely. Saints trying to hold on that ball. Lewis with the ball. With the double team. Oh. And Pass trouble. it off to London. Oh, to oh it's good. good. Gets the yeah. lead. Saints up three. Will Goo with the layup. Quality passing from McQuinish. Rodriguez with the ball. Miege down three. 30 seconds remain. There will be a timeout on the floor. I'm out. This environment is electric. This is. Doesn't get much better than this on a Friday night. It does not. Twenty-seven point six seconds remain.
Saints come out. 27 seconds remain. You know, I don't, I don't see Miege going for three here. Not going to lie. Rodriguez in. Does not the fall. Up is oh, good. With good. The rebound. London's going. Oh, driving. Trying. Yep. Oh, and he's and fouled. He fouled. Shot's no good. Mage needed a foul there. Got the foul. 15 seconds remaining. Smart foul. Smart foul. They, did, they needed it. Let's see if London can get these. This could potentially shut out the game. Could be a dagger. London Burton has been empty on his free throws tonight. See what he can do. And he hits oh, it. London Burton. Baby. The young sophomore. That gets the Saints up four. Second free throw coming up. Looks like Zay's checking in. Or not. Second free throw. Cooper Smith telling his players no fouls. Gets oh, it. and he hits it. Stunning free throws from London Burton. The A's down five, 15 remaining. Gonna need a quick shot here. Johnson's gonna be inbounding it. Rodriguez driving down. Over to Armstrong. From three. Does not get it. It's a miss. Gets the ball. Oh, baby. Ladies and gentlemen. You talk about a game. Talk about a game. Saints win. 70 to 65. Oh, my Lord. And the Saints are popping tonight. Man, what a Friday night. What a game. Couldn't have asked for a better one myself. Overtime. You can go to bed knowing that quite a Saints won tonight. Absolutely. I'm going to go to bed happy tonight. Saints community is going to bed happy tonight. I'm sleeping like a baby tonight. Absolutely. Big thank you to everyone tuning in tonight. Thank you for the alumni coming out. Thank you, JP. Thank I, you, Carson. I had a pleasure. Everyone, have a good night.